to a big debate right now over sunlight, the push to make daylight saving time permanent. U.S. Senators just voted in favor of the move. Now it's up to the House to take up the measure. After more than 100 years of springing forward and falling back an hour, we would be able to leave our clocks right where they are year round. If it does happen, the change would not go into effect until next November. The reason? Transportation schedules have already been put in place until then. Well, the question is, is staying on daylight saving time the healthiest way to go? Many doctors across the country say absolutely not. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig going in depth tonight on the alternative physician groups are now lobbying for. We came to Mayberry Farm in Northville because animals are a lot like most of us. They like consistency, which includes a time that doesn't fall back or spring forward. We have our routines, what time we eat in the morning, what time we eat at night. They're the same way. Spending any amount of time at Mayberry Farm is a real delight. And if your body and mind feel like they're still adjusting to last weekend, springing forward an hour into daylight savings time, mocha, caramel and cookie probably feel the same. They get fed every morning here at nine o'clock. So now they're eating at eight o'clock. But in the afternoon, they're used to being fed at three o'clock, which is really two o'clock. So by the time they get to the morning, they're really hungry. And AAA says losing an hour often means more drowsy driving as people adjust. Our drivers who slept for less than five hours have a crash risk comparable to someone that is driving drunk. Switching the clocks twice a year is very disruptive to our sleep health and our internal clocks, our circadian rhythm. And this week, the Senate moved to put an end to moving the day up an hour in the spring and falling back an hour in the fall. And studies show most Americans would agree with the animals. At the end of the day, consistency. I think it's just like all of us. But between some lawmakers and doctors, the debate is how to be consistent. The Senate voted to make daylight savings time Permanent. I remember uh, in the 70s during the energy crisis walking to school in the dark because we had permanent daylight savings time and hating it. And so did everybody else, which is why it went away. Detroit Receiving Hospital's Dr. James Rowley sits on the board of the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, which supports a permanent switch to standard time or the fallback time. And that is because our bodies are most aligned with the sun uh, dark light cycle. And we're not changing the sun, we're changing the time when we do this. Dr. Anita Shelgakur is a University of Michigan Associate Professor of Neurology and Sleep Medicine. We're advocating and hoping that we can maintain a permanent standard time, which would allow us again to wake up in the morning when it's bright, go to bed in the evening when it's dark, and really get that full amount of sleep that we need and be functioning more in tune with our internal clock. Those who support staying in the spring forward mode say there will be longer daylight in the evening for children playing outside and that it would be good for the economy because later daylight means more people driving, spending gas and shopping after work. But doctors say when our bodies are out of sync, that can lead to heart problems and moodiness and permanent daylight savings would mean children waiting for the buses in the dark. There's going to be a lot of northerners very upset in two winters, if you ask me. Uh, when their kids are standing at bus stops at 8.30 in the total dark. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Kim.